Nicolette from Nicolette Styles and also the creator of the Clever with Canva course. And today I'd like to share with you how to use creative market products inside of Canva so that you don't waste time or more importantly, you don't waste your money. So we need JPEGs or PNGs to be able to use these graphics inside of canva what you do is you go to file types over here and you click on all files and then it's going to pop up with a breakdown of those file types so you'll see here it says psd that means photoshop we want to have more jpeg and png than psd if you're familiar with photoshop that's great then this will work for you but i don't want you to make the mistake of buying a product where the majority of the files is in PSD and you're trying to use it in Canva because that's going to be frustrating for you and you're going to waste your money. So I just wanna show you the difference really quick in Canva between the JPEG and the PNG. So this would be the JPEG and this would be a PNG. So what I'm gonna do is just color the background and you'll see that with the JPEG, we've got that white background and then with the PNG, we can pull it over any background. So it's going to give you more flexibility. Where JPEGs are going to work better is where you have a photo frame, a PNG. You're not going to be able to drag it into that frame. It's going to go over an image. But if you have a JPEG, you'll be able to drag it into that frame. Then when it comes to your fonts, you can upload these three font types into Canva an OTF or an open typeface, a true type font, TTF or web open font format. So if you're on creative market and you've fallen in love with the font, you just want to make sure that the fonts that you have, have those files. We'll go to the same place, all file, and it'll give you a breakdown. So TTF, WF and OTF. So we're good for this one. So now that we know what we're looking for, what else should you keep in mind when buying products on creative market to use in canva every week creative market has got free goods that they give away and there's some really great resources in here what we want to be careful for is that we make sure that we read the legal use of terms for every single item on creative market that we purchase so creative market will have an overarching legal terms of use but every single person on creative market has got their own terms of use. It is our responsibility to make sure that we um, stick to those legal terms of use. So here is licenses offered standard. So you can read more about the different types of licenses. If you're not sure, you can get in touch directly with the seller. So you can message them right over here and ask them if you have a question. And if you have a few more questions about creative market products and how to stay legal with the products that you're bringing into Canva, I've got a legal with Canva post that I did with Tamsin Horton, where she takes us through the most important things that we need to keep in mind when designing for our business in Canva. I hope that that saves you some time, frustration, and above all, saves you some money. Um, I know that I've made the mistake of buying files and not being able to use them in Canva. I definitely don't want that for you. And if you have any questions about creative market and how to use any of the products that you're buying, fonts, patterns, graphics, anything, um, gold foil banners, let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.